Cinderella, Rossini Cinderella. Pretty much my favourite Rossini opera. I love nursery stories and nursery rhymes. Cinderella is about dreams come true. Goodness against evil and it's about forgiveness. It's got a great message of, um, of redemption. I think it's got a great message of forgiveness. The perfect fairy tale where this girl that's treated badly and is humble and kind and all of that ends up being you know, rewarded in every possible way. I love the characters. I love the wonderful Dickensian eccentricities of these characters. We're working with a terrific uh, Brisbane-based cast, some amazing singers. You, we've got Virgilia Marino, Jason Barry Smith, Emily Burke, lovely Deb Rogers, Andrew Collis, but also um, featuring the, the very beautiful mezzo-soprano uh, Fiona Campbell as, uh, as Cinderella. You know, what little girl hasn't wanted to be Cinderella? <laughs> <laughs> and she, I know, will bring integrity, but also her very great vocal beauty and amazing coloratura to this role. And we're welcome to Australia for the first time, the Egyptian based Ashraf Sawailam, and uh, that's going to be a big treat for opera lovers. This is a production that uh, we share with New Zealand Opera and uh, that itself is a celebration of our collaboration across the Tasman. It's quite a dark story and I think that's why it's so loved because truth will out and, and, and the goody wins in the end. Comedy really isn't much different to drama as long as you play it seriously and for the truth of the situation. If you're going to highlight in the classic Rossini sense the buffo nature of the part, um, it can be very funny, especially if you've got that skill as an actor and many of the great buffos over the years have had. And comedy just comes from truth anyway. The funniest comedy is when the person themselves doesn't realise that they're being funny. And it's purely the situation. By telling the story in a way that really makes it clear how badly she's being treated, you can unlock lots of dramatic possibilities in the piece because if it's just being done for laughs, it's not particularly affecting. Well, I rile everyone up most of the time, really. I'm, I'm desperate to make something of myself as Dandini. And Dandini, sometimes in, in, in the original telling of the story, isn't even there. But that's what's wonderful about the opera, is that you've got this guy who's a catalyst against the prince. He wants to be like the prince. He gets an opportunity to be like the prince. And then it's all taken away from him. And that's why it's a great piece, because you've got that, the, the light and shade. I'm really looking forward to working with my good friend Dan Potra, one of the most exciting designers working in the world, and we're lucky to have him here in Brisbane. The clothes of the time really give you a sense of where you are, where you fit, where your class is. Her truth and integrity and beauty as a person, which is, let's face it, what it's really all about, shines through. And so she, it's the ultimate story of triumph. <laughs>